following is an introduction to solving nonlinear equations using Excel Solver. Here we have the equation x cubed minus 10 times x minus 1 squared equals minus 1. The first thing we do is put this in uh, f of x equals 0 form. We do this by adding 1 to both sides of the equation and then we have the quantity on the left which is f of x equals 0. This isn't strictly required in Excel, uh, but for consistency with other kinds of solvers and with the and with root finding we'll put it in the form f of x equals zero. It's convenient when possible to graph the function to see what we're dealing with. So let's go ahead and enter values for x and f of x equals x cubed minus 10 times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 1 and then if we plot this with a simple scatter plot, insert scatter plot, we can see that the function has three roots as expected for the cubic, one, two, and three. And this will give us a sense for where those roots are as we go to put in initial guesses. In order to solve this problem with the solver, we make two cells, one for the variable and one for the function. And then we provide an initial guess. So here we'll guess maybe 10. And then we enter the value of the function in terms of that guess. So equals x cubed minus 10 times x minus 1 squared plus 1. And then we go to the solver and the data tab over on the right is solver. And you might need to, if you don't see this, you might need to add it in uh, to Excel separately. So if we go to the solver, then we get this dialog window that comes up, and this asks us for our objective function. It says set the objective, in this case f of x, click it, to a value of zero by changing cells x, our variable. And then there's a region here for adding constraints, which we don't have, and a checkbox, uh, make unconstrained values, not variables non-negative. We have some options and a solver type but for us, this is sufficient. So again, set the objective f of x to a value f of x to a value of zero by changing the variable. And we're just clicking the cells to get those addresses there. When we click solve, we see that it found a solution. And the function, while not being zero, is much, much smaller. In general, the solver won't make the function exactly zero it will make it as close to zero as we've requested depending on what the tolerance is and that's one of the options of the solver. The solution that we found 7.49 um, here, right this one, depends on our initial guess. So when we guess 10 it found this solution. If we put in other guesses like a guess of 2 or a guess of 0 we'll find these other solutions. So for example if we make our guess be 0 the solver remembers the cells that we had entered, so we can just click Solve again. And this time it finds the value of 6.644 here. And if we guess a value of 2, we can find the third root. And we find a value of 1.86. Okay, let's look at two equations and two unknowns. So here we have uh, the equation y equals x squared plus 3x plus 2 and y equals 2x plus 3. This is the first function, that's the second function, and our variables would be x and y. Um, we can plot these if we plot verse x versus y for equation 1 and x versus y for equation 2, then where the two curves, the two resulting curves intersect would be our solutions. So here we'd have a solution here, value of x and y, and another solution, value of x and y. We can change the form of these equations to a vectorized form if we like by referring to this first equation as f1, this is f2, and our variable x as x1, and our variable y as x2. <clears throat> and then if we bring y to the right hand side, we have x1 squared plus 3x1 plus 2 minus x2 is 0, and 2x1 plus 3 minus x2 equals 0. So two equations and two unknowns. There's two methods for solution, solving this with the solver. Let's go ahead and do method one. Again, as before, we make cells for the variables and we make cells for the function, the functions. Now we go up to the solver 
and in the solver we can make set the objective which is the first function to a value of 0 by changing both of my variables now the solver only has one objective function whoops let's go ahead and redo this set the objective f1 to a value 0 by changing my variables good now the solver only gives me the first objective function but I have two I have the first one should be 0 and the second one should be 0 we can do this by adding a constraint so if we go add the constraint that f2 is also equal to 0 okay then our problem reads set cell f1 to a value of 0 by changing both variables subject to the constraint that our other function is also 0 so we have both functions being 0 when we click solve it finds a solution and we see that our um, functions are both close to 0 and we have the value of x and x1 and x2 an alternative method that doesn't require specifying an extra constraint is to recognize that in f of x equals 0 form the function itself is the error so if it's not if we make guesses of 1 and 1 if if our um, and again these would be our variables our functions have the same equation so we would type function 1 equals x1 squared plus 3 times x1 plus 2 minus x2 and f2 equals 2 times x1 plus 3 minus x2 so if these were 0 we'd be done but the fact that they're not 0 that's the error 5 is the error so if we square the error equals f1 squared and equals f2 squared then we can form the sum of those two errors squared so equals this first error squared plus the second error squared and we get 41 now this single value 41 is a cumulative um, error that will be as small as it can be uh, nominally 0 when we have found the ideal x1 and x2 values so this time we can go to the solver and say make the error the sum of the square error be 0 by changing both variables and in this case we don't need a constraint solve and it finds a solution the functions are practically 0 and we find x1 and x2 you still need a guess you still need the functions takes a little bit more work to find the square errors and then the sum and then minimize this sum or set the sum equal to zero in this case but we don't need to add any external constraints to the solver okay let's go ahead and practice on another problem here here we have three equations and three unknowns x y and z are our three variables and we have three functions f1 f2 and f3 first thing to do is to put the the functions in f equals 0 form by moving the 1, the 1 1.1, and the 2 to the left hand side. And so we do that x, y, and z. And then the functions will be f1, f2, and f3. And we can put in guesses 2, 2, 2, for example, and then type in the functions. So equals x squared plus y squared minus 1 equals x times y plus y times c plus 1.1 and equals y squared plus z squared minus 2. And now we can go and into the solver and say make my objective f1 a value of 0 by changing my variables subject to the constraints and we'll go ahead and add these again that my other two functions are also zero so add a constraint the f2 equals zero and then add another one the f3 also equals zero okay so now we have f9 this cell f9 which is our function one is a value zero 
by changing our three variables subject to the constraint that my other two functions are zero. So we have two extra constraints here. And then we click solve. And the solver finds a solution. These values are close to zero and these would be my solution values for x, y, and z. And that's all there is to it. So again, the main point is write it in f of x equals zero form then make cells for your variables and cells for your functions and then we go up to the solver and we make our function zero by changing the variables and then if we have extra equations not just one equation one unknown if we have more than more equations then we make those also zero by adding constraints and that's all